November 14th. It was the day of reckoning for the literally broken Psyker build. For a magnificent 20 days, we had the ability to purge the wretched scum of chaos from Atoma. Now, the light of the Emperor has gone dark. All true Psykers went into hiding, crafting the perfect build. We consulted the ancient text and theory crafted for long, and now, we rise from the darkness reforged. Servants of the Emperor, Briggs O here, and in this video I'm going over my reforged Psyker build in Warhammer 40k, Darktide. This build I'm calling the Spitfire Psyker build, and yes that's right, we're going from lightning to fire. No bugs here this time, so hopefully without any major nerfs in the future, this build will be able to stick around. If you're enjoying what you see here and want to see more Darktide related content from me in the future, then please like this video and consider subscribing. I've recently released my Unstoppable Ogryn build, so if you want to become an invincible pile of hulking muscle, then I recommend you check out that video after this one. This build is all about setting things on fire and applying Soul Blaze to enemies. Soul Blaze is a status that we can apply to our victims which does damage over time, otherwise known as tick damage, and the more Soul Blaze something has, the more damage they will take. Now, there are a lot of detailed explanations of the damage scaling for Soul Blaze on things like Reddit, so if you want to know the numbers, I highly suggest you look it up, because I'm not going to go into that much detail while I go through this build. But enough of the intros, let's go straight into the talent tree. First up, we have our Refined Psyker Toughness Recovery Package, which includes Soul Stealer, Quietude, and Metal. These talents make it so that we can regain toughness by quelling peril, killing things with warp attacks, and getting critical hits. This is super handy as Psykers have the resilience of an arthritic 90 year old. I've fallen and I can't get up! We then grab Perfect Timing, which gives us more damage to our warp attacks the more critical hits we get. Our ranged weapon will take advantage of these critical hits, but more on that later. After this we get Battle Meditation, which gives you a 10% chance to quell 10% peril, which synergizes nicely with our toughness recovery package and means we can burn things for longer when it activates. We then take Perilous Combustion, which applies 3 stacks of Soul Blaze to nearby enemies when we kill an elite or specialist, which works great with the whole kill it with fire theme. Moving down we pick up a plus 15 toughness boost before moving on to our blitz ability, Brain Rupture. This time around we're going to be making use of Brain Rupture as it acts as our long range weapon when we need it to. It also helps us do some chunky damage against crushes, bulwarks and monstrosities. You can choose to use Smite here if you want to, but with the staff that we have you can already control crowds pretty effectively, so I'm not keen. We then grab Kinetic Flare as it activates a lot with the amount of hits that we are doing when we burn enemies, and it doesn't use a stack of Empowered Psionics when we use it. Whoops, spoilers! Moving down we get a minus 5% Peril Generation modifier, which is the first of three in this build. Then we go to Wildfire. Wildfire helps us spread our flames like the word of the Holy Emperor, as it applies more stacks of Soul Blaze onto enemies as other enemies die. After this we grab Psychonetic's Aura, a 10% Toughness Replenishment boost, and then Seer's Presence. Both Psychonetic's Aura and Seer's Presence help with combatability cooldown for everyone in the team, so no one can call you out for not being a team player. We get one with the Warp, which helps us with damage reduction at higher levels of peril, then we take another minus 5% peril generation modifier along the way to our combat ability, which of course is going to be the shield. I take the dome variant of the shield and pick up Sanctuary to replenish more toughness while inside it. Like I said previously, I can't stress how important the shield is at higher level content. They are such a versatile tool as they can provide shelter from ranged attacks and stop snipers from targeting you. Be warned though that snipers are pretty good at sniping you the instant that your shield goes down, so don't get too comfy inside of them and stay on your toes. After that, once again we complete the modifier Triforce by picking up our last minus 5% peril generation, a plus 10% health boost, and a plus 5% critical chance boost. We then head down the left tree to pick up Puppet Master, which increases your coherency radius. Then we get a plus 5% toughness damage reduction before moving on to Solidity, which increases your quell speed. If you want, you can drop this left hand part of the tree, and my recommendations would be to grab Warp Expenditure, Empathic Evasion, and Psychic Leeching instead. But have a play around and see what suits you. Finishing up, we take Warp Rider, which helps us do more damage the more peril we have, a toughness boost, and then finally Empowered Psionics. Yes, we're here again, but this time we're actually going to make use of those stacks of Empowered Psionics that we gain. When we use Empowered Psionics with Brain Rupture, it makes it charge faster, doesn't raise our peril when we use it, and increases its damage. 
This means that we can go from brain rupturing crushes in three hits to two, and we can deliver those two hits in a faster time frame. We then take overpowering souls, which means we get empowered psionics on elite kills, which effectively means that we can use our brain rupture to kill them and get a stack back instantly. It's free real estate. We also get charged up, which means we can have three stacks of empowered psionics, which I almost see as the ammo count for brain rupture, as using it without empowered psionics feels really slow. With the talent tree out of the way, let's now move on to the weapons. For our melee weapon of choice, we're still using the Elysi Mark V Blaze Four Sword, but this time we're putting the Blazing Spirit and Shred Blessings on it. Blazing Spirit applies 2 to 4 stacks of Soul Blaze onto enemies whenever we get a crit, and Shred gives us plus 15 to 20% crit chance when we hit 5 enemies. With these two blessings and the Wildfire talent, it turns our sword into a Soul Blaze spreading beast. The aim of this weapon is to mash light melee attacks to set an enemy on fire, then as it dies other enemies will catch fire. The more crits you land, the more stacks of Soul Blaze you'll add doing more damage and spreading more fire. There is a 10 to 12 Soul Blaze stack limit, but I find that most minor enemies die quick enough even with this limit in place. Just to note, you can use Bloodthirsty here instead of Shred, however I unfortunately don't have access to the Blessing and from what I've heard it doesn't activate the 100% crit chance all the time but let me know in the comments if you have it and how it works with Blazing Spirit. The Purgator Staff is our ranged weapon of choice, as it synergizes well with Wildfire and completes our fantasy of being a deranged pyromaniac wizard. This staff can be used for crowd control as the light attack can stagger enemies really well. This then gives us a good opening to charge it up and unleash a glorious spout of soul fire. We take the Warp Nexus Blessing to boost our crit chance by 3.5 to 20% depending on our level of peril and blessing tier. Our next blessing of choice is then Warp Flurry, as it decreases the charge time of our charged attack by 5.5% to 25.5% depending on the blessing tier and stacks we have. To get these stacks, we need to make chained charged attacks, so I tend to slightly charge and release our charged attack a few times, then charge it up fully to make the most of this blessing. You could take the terrifying barrage blessing on this to suppress enemies if you're not bothered about the charge time speed, but for me personally, I feel it's way too slow. This staff has a bit of a knack to it. My advice would be to spam some light attacks to stagger enemies, then short charge the staff and release it a few times before then fully charging it and releasing the blazing force of the Emperor onto our victims. I'm not going to go over weapon perks, but my suggestion would be to get plus critical hit chances where you can. Crits are a big part of this build and it really helps when we have more of them go off. For curios, you can pick what you like depending on your playstyle, but my suggestion would be some toughness curios as we can regen toughness easily in this build. All in all, I really enjoy using this build. I feel like it holds up really well when taking on higher level content. We have adjusted into more of a support role with our ability to spam dome shields so often and apply a ton of damage over time to enemies. So don't expect to be the elite and specialist killer we were before when we have the surge staff bug. Make sure to rely on your team and work together and this build will do you well. But anyway, that rounds out this guide for the Spitfire Psyker build. So if you like this video, please do me a favour and smash that like button and consider subscribing. I'm going to leave you with some damnation footage of the new mission from the Traitor Curse, as it's all the craze right now. Thank you so much for watching this video, and remember to kill for the living and kill for the dead. It is conjured! Walk, sibling. Oh, 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 o
See my 
Demon host warp ice chills my mind.
him this way. This pitiable existence is over.
Station! Attend! A healing station! Praise be to the Emperor! That's what we came for! You know what to do! Captain! They're in the amphitheater! All search parties! You have a chance to redeem yourselves! I suggest you take it! Sounds like you're wearing out your welcome. Pick it up, or just...
protocols apply! Sniper sighted! They can hide their bodies, but not their minds! There's no need to show off. Why not this? Protocol engaged! The sniper is gone! Step Bastion! Game up! Game up! 